What's going on guys, welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another episode. Shout out for Sack for filming, this makes it a lot easier. But I got my laptop. We actually are gonna drive to um, someone who actually watches videos a lot, follows me on Instagram, he was nice enough to let us over. He actually lives in the Monaco area. So we are gonna go upload a video for you guys right now only because we have the Wi-Fi out until June 9th. Never happened up here before, so I can't go three weeks without posting. Um, that just would not be good, so. We're gonna head over to that guy's house for a little bit, upload a video, we're gonna keep the camera going just because this is kind of cool footage, we don't do this all the time. And then we're actually gonna lead into a fishing video, uh, hopefully some big smallmouth later, so let's go. All right, so um, I want to give a shout out to and plug his Instagram, Joey Adam, Joe23Adam, shout out to you. We're actually heading over to your house as we speak because it's absolutely clutch. I did not anticipate the Wi-Fi being out when we first came up here. And those are the punches that we gotta roll with, so. First part of this video, starting kind of hot. We'll see what happens here. All right, guys, we just made it. Pull it up. What up, man? How's it going? Pretty good. I like the hoodie. Thanks, man. Appreciate you it. You just pull it right in the grass. Ah, oh, that sounds good. Helping us out huge with this, man. Nice to meet you. No problem. Nice to meet you, dude. <sighs> you doing some fishing recently? Oh, uh, yeah. I got out a few days ago on a kayak. How'd you do? Got hailed on, but oh, not that's too nice. bad. Like five or six bass. What's the temp like been up here? So we had like a week where it was like, it was brutal. It was good. It was a bit tougher because they were still moving on from cold water. Mm -hmm. You can turn the camera off now. And then the water shot up. All right guys, we are actually fishing the pond now outside of uh, Joey's place here. Uh, videos are uploading, but like I said, once again, huge shout out to Joey over here for letting us come over. We're waiting for that last clip to upload. So we figured might as well not sit inside, come outside, enjoy a beer, throw a rod in and see if we can catch a fish or two. And I've actually never fished a Northwoods pond in my entire life. Never made one cast in a pond. Alrighty guys, so it is 4.15 now. Um, it took a lot longer than expected. We shot over there at about 1.30. Took about two hours, but he was able to get this video uploaded. So you guys can actually think Joe23Adam on Instagram for this because he's an awesome guy. Honestly, we had a really good time. The problem with up here is we're gonna have so many videos ready to go. And I don't know how I'm gonna post one or two a week up here because of this Wi-Fi situation, but I'm gonna do the best that I can. But bottom line, had a good time with Joey. Uh, we're gonna be fishing and he actually, so something I really didn't talk about on video. Okay, mine are in the back. So he actually makes all of his own lures. So like, check this one out. Like this one is honestly awesome. So I was actually able, we bought, Sack bought three and then I bought three from him, which is super nice. They're all quality jerk baits, crank baits that are actually gonna work. And like I literally told him, I said, I truly would not be buying this if I didn't think it was gonna work, which is really cool. And I think he appreciated that as well. We are hopefully gonna go fish now. Video's done. Uh, my stress is off my shoulders a little bit for at least this week. Now we're gonna go out and hopefully slam some small out. The one downside is now we got overcast, which before we had sun, it would have been perfect. We could have saw right in the water and now we have straight overcast. So I don't know, we'll kind of see what happens and I'll come back to the camera. So now that the video is uploaded, ready to go. Um, and it's actually over to my editor. We can actually focus on filming a new one for you guys. So hopefully this hail is off. But I have all these little things from the uh, trees literally all over my boat. So I'm gonna take the backpack blower and blow it right out. Enjoy this cool little time lapse. Sick. Who the hell would pull the keys? Sack. Alrighty guys. First cast with the uh New jerk bait from Joey Adam. Pretty much almost like a vision 110 blank. Look at this hand painted by Joey Adam. I'll plug his stuff right here, but perch, the orange in the belly, got that silver white. Look at those eyes. 
upgraded gamma hooks. Tweet, tweet, pause, tweet, tweet. Wow, dude, I'm gonna have to lose this hoodie. It's hot as. Oh, let's see if there's a fish on this bed. Oh, there is, it is a giant. All right guys, we have a change of plans. So this is what happens in the spring when you're fishing pre-spawn, spawn, all of it. We have some active beds now, which is very surprising because we have 58 degree water. And yesterday we were out and we had 61. This that's trash. Oh wow, it is a tank. Yeah. On. I didn't even know I was on. I thought it was really on three cast. Nat. Nat is a nice one. Let's go. Let's go. I'm gonna need your help with the camera in a sec. Look at that, guys. Prototype FTA Ned coming soon. Beauty smallmouth. Look at that. Gorgeous fish. All right, just when we thought we were gonna be casting all around today, we have found a couple active fish on beds. 59 degrees, these fish are cold. All right, guys, my first fish of the day. Probably about a, say, two and a half pounder. Nothing, nothing crazy, not a big one, but Back up in the North Woods, hopefully this smallmouth bite is as good as this first star. Because we've been out here for literally 10 minutes and already caught ourselves a beauty. There we go. Smallmouth. Go back in the drink. Thanks. Okay, so we found a couple of beds that had some fish on it, um, which is very surprising. But I was able to get one, and I don't know if it actually came from a bed or not. I think it might have been a cruiser, but now that we're, I was actually going along the shoreline right here. And I was looking down at the side, side imaging and off this way, it drops pretty hard to about 17 feet. And on that slope, there's a lot of smallmouth out there right by this log. So a little bit of blind casting. I should probably get the hair jig on. The rod for the Ned Rig, seven foot medium, St. Croix Legend Elite, die with Tatula. Um, I know you guys like knowing the setups. So I try doing that a lot more in the videos. Um, 10 pound Power Pro braid, yellow high vis uh, for stuff like this. Plus I just like it. And all right, we're pulling shit. And I have a net rig caught in my shoulder somewhere. Oh, there it is. All right, guys, so we moved locations. We are in spot number two. And as me and Sack are about to cast around, we come across another bed and actually in 58 degrees. Um, this is not a bed. So I'm just gonna be blind casting. I'm gonna let Sack go for this one right here. Like, piss oh, it's about to eat it, it's about to eat it. Set it. There you go. Bring it this way. Rod tip, rod tip up, rod tip up. Nice. All right, guys. Sack with his first of the day. And this one was a bed fish. Took a little bit, but he was able to get it. We're gonna grab a quick weight. I'm gonna say 3.6, 3.7. Yeah. Yep. Oh my god, it's right on. Really? 3.60. Nice. Stop, stop. All right, guys, here's Sex Fish. 3.60. Super nice smallmouth. One of the bigger ones today. First of the year mistake always happens but that is my best smallmouth so far let's get a quick wait i'm gonna say 3.9 or four first four pound of the trip what a fish all right guys the first four pound of the trip 4.05 absolute gorgeous smallmouth look at this um as you can see behind me that is a wall of rain coming so i'm gonna get this fish back nice and easy and this was caught in a hair jig um on actually this new 
the victory. 7-3 finesse rod, so, all right, here we go. So let's, let's get a cool release. Guys, look at this fish. Look at this fish. Beauty. Let's go. All right, we're gonna go in the back. This could be interesting. Oh my God, this isn't good, bro. Literally winds out there. It's super calm here because we're like behind a point and now it is starting to rain. Like the winds out there were absolutely ripping. Giant wall of rain coming. We made it back just in time. So now we're actually just about to walk up and we are going to make some food. We're gonna make some bacon too. Yeah. Some bacon, maybe some BLTs, just we don't have tomatoes or lettuce. <laughs> but pretty good outing, honestly, guys. It was, um, we were doing some casting. We are starting to find a lot more um, smallmouth on beds. Uh, that last giant actually did come from a bed, which is really cool. But a lot of them are just still in that pre-spawn mode and they just don't want to bed lock just yet, which is fine because they're in that pre-spawn mode and they're a fun bite. And they're gonna be huge. And here comes the rain. Just in time, bud. We made it to the house. Uh, we beat the rain probably about a minute or two. We we're gonna get absolutely soaked. The wind's just out of nowhere. We're completely out of breath. We had to walk up like 90 stairs to get up here. We didn't turn the prowler down, so. Our pit stop, we got some bacon going. Making some sandies. Got some chips and salsa. Bacon, mayo, turkey. Look at that. All right, so some BLTs, and we substituted the T instead of tomato for turkey. <laughs> uh, we're actually heading out right now. Got a couple beers in the hoodie, and I'm actually gonna be bringing Chris a beer too. He's a guy who lives in this lake with me, and well, not with me, but lives in the lake, and he's also a super dialed smallmouth angler. And ever since we've been kind of passing info back to each other, kind of about the bite, and help each other out, which is what anglers gotta do, stick together. A couple people you talked to on the lake said they have been struggling, which is actually very surprising because to me today has seemed like the best bite so far. Water is so clear. Just like that guys we are back out oh my god i'm bleeding all over my fingers somehow there's blood all over my rod too guys i have some little cut in my hand from something in my fridge i just won't stop bleeding i'm so pissed all right i don't normally wear band-aids but when i do i'm fishing so it stops the bleeding Hey, in case you don't catch fish, I do have some cold packs in here to put on your ass when you get butt hurt. We are officially in spring, ladies and gentlemen. We have cruisers. We have, that means literally just a fisher everywhere. They're in spawning areas. They're on the sand flats, to the, uh, rock to sand transitions. They're just everywhere. They're up in the shallows. And then we got fish also on bed. So when we're just casting like this, biggest thing when fishing smallmouth spawn is take good care of these fish. You want these fisheries up here. You want them to continue producing a lot of fish and keep spawning, keep their natural things going. So get them back in. Um, and also this time of year in anyways in Wisconsin, you can actually cannot put a, um, a large mouth or small mouth in your live well until I believe like June 18th or something. I forget which weekend it is, but it's far, far away. All right guys, sex with another little one. I only took it from him just because easier to show you guys, but here you go, Sack. You can do the honors of the release. Let's get an underwater shot. All right, so that fish came from actually Joey Adams lure. So Sack's actually throwing crankbait in a perch color. Throwing a uh, Joey Adams crankbait here, and it's uh, looking really good. I mean, we're j basically at this slope right here. It comes up really nice and steep. So I'm throwing it deep in the water, pulling it up, and it hit right at the midpoint of that slope. So we're just pitching some of that. Tom's looking at bed, so having a good day overall. Okay, guys, so we had to come back to my house for a second. I have a little chip in my uh, prop it was actually from a lake south wisconsin where before before i even came up here 
and for whatever reason it's making my um engine shake a little bit but we didn't know if it was for sure that so we had to come back check it out i'll show you guys that in a sec well guys as we are doing this sack just caught one filled with spawn too hang on i gotta move sack come up here yeah. guys look at this belly that's an absolute behemoth look at that filled with eggs it's not a big one it's honestly super fat mm -hmm. well we're gonna get her back in All right, that is going to do it for today. Um, we got some rain coming, and as I always say, fishing the rain, good. Filming the rain, no good. So we are gonna end this video right here. I wanna give a huge thank you to Joey Adam for letting me come over there and upload a video at your house. Um, we actually bought $60 worth of lures from him, which was really cool, because they were all really nicely made. So if you wanted to check out any of his stuff, I'll leave it linked in the top of the description below. But uh, the boat, I think is all right. I think it's my prop. I have like a little bit of a ding in my prop, and what I didn't show, which I should have, Every single, here, I'll go over to the boat. Every single bolt, though, was loose on the entire jack plate and in the talons, which I, that's what I thought the problem was. And we actually relaunched to go test it out at a smaller lake right down the road, and it is still doing that. So, literally, what I'm not, what I'm saying this, guys, I'm telling you, this one, this one, all four here, these two big ones here, these two big ones here, these two big ones in there, every single bolt, even the ones in here, every single bolt, both sides we're all loose so i'm like that has to be the problem like i could literally shake this thing and now it won't move at all we got it all tightened down but i had had a couple of people tell me this is my problem so i've never okay so i'm gonna show you guys my prop i've never hit my prop in my entire life going my fourth year at this boat dried my skag through like maybe like a couple rocks and like when i'm fishing shallow or whatever but nothing damaged and then when i was on actually a southern wisconsin lake it actually bent so this should be more obviously here this is a more curved prop but it actually should be a little bit more smoothed out and there's a little nick right here. So hopefully it's not that big of an issue. Honestly, it could be so many different things. Uh, oil filter, spark plugs, losing compression in a cylinder would probably be the worst, but it's literally like Googling, why does my stomach hurt? So I don't want to get like too freaked out about it yet because I really do think it could be this prop because it's the only thing that's physically changed on my boat. But I hope you guys enjoyed today's episode. We caught some smallmouth. We're gonna get back out there and we have some new videos coming as well and some catching cooks and hopefully a new species is hopefully that we can get done. So remember, I have no Wi-Fi till June 2nd. So if you guys don't see this video or if everything's delayed, you guys know why it's delayed because my wife has been out. So new videos every single week. Please like the video, subscribe, and we are out.